Hey fellas, Jazz here. So, the new year is upon us, and I have a few announcements to make regarding what's going on this year. Some really cool stuff is coming down the pipeline, especially for Burb Out, but also for this YouTube channel in general, since I've really wanted to get back into video making. I know I say that a lot without making too many videos, but a lot of content gets scrapped due to either me not wanting to make it, or the idea is just bad, or I just don't have the confidence to go for it. However, this year I'm going to make it a point to try to grow a bit more and make more content, especially since the Burbat community is really small and could use with some upsizing. By the way, if any of the following interests you, I'd be very glad if you'd all subscribe. Another thing is that I'm going to start uploading some videos to Odyssey, which is a new YouTube competitor. So, you can go follow me there as well if you'd like. This will probably be the first video on that channel as well. Hopefully this will be a good start. If you want to have a chat with me personally or just want to hang out in a really chill indie game community, the link for the Burbat Discord server is in the description along with the Odyssey link if you're watching on YouTube. Oh, and I am saving a very special surprise for the end of the video, so don't skip until the end. Burbat is my bread and butter at this point and I'm really glad I went through and completed it. With that comes a decent few ideas on what types of videos that I can make on my own game. An interesting idea that I have is to do devlogs on my patch updates. Most game dev YouTubers cover progress on the pre-release versions of their game. However, Burbad is an already released game, which puts me in a unique position to talk about the post-release game production cycle rather than the pre-release. I mean, it's not like I never did pre-release content, it's just that I did that on Instagram. And no matter how hard I worked, even if I posted a video every single day, I just couldn't for the life of me get any traction. The Bareback community on Discord is a lot better in that regard, as they are usually way more responsive to what I have to say about my game. The Instagram crowd is pretty fickle anyway, and having more permanent members in the community is just something I jive with a bit better anyhow. This more longer form content will basically be a way for me to put together multiple updates into one video, showing update progress on the whole rather than piece by piece like I did on Instagram. Speaking of on the whole, another thing I want to do is a sum up of the entire development history of Burb Out. YouTube especially likes those long documentary movie length videos, you know the ones. 40 plus minute deep dives on a specific topic or an event that just sucks you in and steals like half your day and stuff. Going through my archives and my older patch records and stuff would be a good trip down memory lane and would make for a really engaging video. The catch is that this video would be a massive undertaking, so I may get some help with editing. On top of that, having to search through my folders and research all of my older builds and look for dates can be a bit dull and tedious, even if the ways in which these versions differ from release burb out is super interesting. Overall, I might attempt it during one of the lols when I'm not working on the game itself. Speaking of not working on the game, oh boy, this one is gonna be interesting. I have been an avid Team Fortress 2 player for a very long time, since 2018. I've seen a lot of what the community has to offer, and I've met a ton of really cool and nice people through this game. I usually get off coding burp out of a night to shoot the shit with some lads in VC over MVM or Casual 2-4, and there is a decent bit of demand for that level of good old banter that, yeah, I could probably put out a few TF2 videos here and there. Of course, the main focus is going to be burp out, but I will occasionally break up those videos with whatever footage I can add together in a cohesive video. I've also seen a bit of an uptick in small TF2 YouTubers. I usually have a few ideas for videos on TF2 that I'm going to make. If you were watching this channel late last year, you probably saw that I came back to YouTube to do Open Fortress content, but stopped after the second video. This is because Valve was forced to take down Open Fortress and Team Fortress 2 Classic due to a whole kerfuffle that I will not get into here. I'm mostly thinking of doing any general idea that pops into my head for this game, but mostly gameplay focused videos that just naturally come out of my time just playing with friends. I've also done a few unlisted clip dumps of old 2019 footage, but that's just more to archive older content and free up hard drive space, so it's a bit whatever. I actually have a solid set of videos that I really, really want to make. I've been slowly getting better at music theory and composing by making music for Burbat, 
and a secret new air quotes mod project for Minecraft that some of you know and some of you don't. Yes, it's getting revival, I just need to get someone to host the server consistently. Anyways, the piece of software I use is called Open Mod Plug Tracker, or OpenMPT for short. I love the heck out of this piece of software. A lot of people use digital audio workstations to make their music, but OpenMPT is a different type of software called a tracker, which is a channel and sample based music editor. Very different stuff. Old trackers have been around since the 80s and are used a lot in chiptune and breakcore music. I really want to get into the community proper and sometimes I even look for OpenMPT tracker videos to put into my ever expanding public showcase playlist. I've even been asked how I find these videos. It's usually just the event search on YouTube for desktops and sorting by most recent upload. It's really easy to find obscure artists that way and I highly recommend it if you're bored on a Sunday night or a Saturday night or even a Monday night or just like whenever. The real kicker is that this software can be really daunting to use. Not necessarily hard, just daunting. The only tutorials are brief overviews that don't really go into each individual element with detail. Of course the first tutorial will be a basic overview, but the idea is that I can look through the wiki to find stuff to make tutorials on and relay that information to newer artists who are looking to get a start in the tracker scene or in music production in general. I especially want to do this to really share my process on how I make music for my games and projects and show off what you can do with this type of music software. It's very interesting and I like it and tutorials tend to do pretty well. Oh, and more random music videos as well might be making their way here as I release more projects with music in them, so look out for that as well. See the video of Burbat's full soundtrack for an idea of what that would look like. Lastly, I have planned a few tech related videos. Namely, I want to make a video on my experience with Linux and how it's been treating me. I use Kubuntu, by the way. Yes, I know the meme is I use Arch, by the way, but I I'm not entirely there yet. The Linux life is pretty good regardless, though. Less worries about viruses and stuff. Wish most of my Steam games work, though. Not that I played most of them, anyways. I'll also be putting out the odd random video or some short skit every once in a while. Now, for those that have been patient, I want to show off something that I have been considering for a bit. Something that I decide in 2022 I am going to commit to that is going to change how I produce videos from here on out. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, I ask for your attention to a new face, Stage Left. It's ya boy! That's right, I'm going to start drawing my avatar in videos. I plan to go the full animation route using Unity and creating different mouth and face poses so that I can make the character do things and be more expressive and not just be every other PNG character sprite thing that every other cartoon reviewer and just general reviewer does and just general YouTuber and whatever. And with this, a new channel banner and icon. You'll probably also notice that my avatar looks a bit older. I'm also going to use my previous character design for a new character that I'll be fleshing out a decent bit later on. And of course, my new guy actually has a moustache. Gee, wonder, I wonder if some of your criticisms and feedback went into making that decision. Ooh, never know. For now, I'm settling on character sprites, so it'll be a while before I can get the partially animated avatar shtick up and running. I'm also mainly going to be focused on developing Burb out, in general, with a new video out maybe once a week and a half or so. No promises, but because I'm doing less uni and might have some more time off to make content, I'll probably make more videos than in 2021. Anyways, thank you all for your patience. It's been really sweet having you all here. Again, make sure you go to my Discord since I would really love to get more people on there. And as always, thank you all for watching and take care.